<laughs> Strong, man. We just came up to mow the property. Uh, I know I've been posting some kind of lame, low quality videos. I've just kind of recorded with my phone. Um, we usually come up and do a little recording with our GoPros. But, you know, we work and stuff throughout the uh, summer. So it's, it's becoming fall and winter. We'll have a lot more free time to come up and make some some pretty cool videos. But we just came up today to mow. And then we usually relax for a couple hours and hang out. <laughs> Drink a beer. Usually just throw a little dog food out for the fish. Fish a little bit and hike the trails. We haven't really got a lot of plans yet for this winter, but I know we're going to come up and stay in the little bush craft shelter and do a couple, make a little couple of tarp tents and stuff, tarp shelters, sleep in those. Think about doing a teepee style shelter this uh, fall or winter. We're going to be doing some deer hunting. We're going to come up and put some salt out. It's actually time now. We've got to do that very soon. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of footage of that. But we come up to Mo, so we might as well enjoy it for a little while. It's very nice up here right now. We haven't had rain in a couple weeks, so the ponds, you can actually see the overflow is down about a foot. You can see the kind of dirt and mud gook on it from the water that floats around the algae. But hopefully this is the last mowing of the season. The leaves are starting to fall everywhere. Still got a lot of green. So we're not fully in the fall yet, I guess. It's fall, but <laughs> really nice up here right now. We brought us a, a few sausages and a couple filet mignons. Bought a little hummingbird feeder. We've got some little hummingbirds coming around and they're eating this regular food. I've seen them flying over here several times, so today I finally remembered to stop and buy a little hummingbird feeder. Keep those little guys around. We're gonna, for some reason, I don't know if anybody that watches this knows what I can do this thing when I like if I don't use it for a little while we come up we wait a couple weeks and we come up it, I can't pump pressure into it it won't hold it so I have to take this little thing apart pull this pin out slide it out mess with it put it back in and then it holds pressure I guess that's not a big deal but I don't know brought this picture up today oh yeah we put a different bed in here the cabin got an old hardwood bed my granddad had put that in we just brought this old picture up it goes with it pretty well so i can turn this flashlight on there we go yeah it looks really cool and then i got this little futon instead of this whole bed one we had the only thing is this one don't lay out so i got the blanket my little two-year-old daughter picked that out she loves that thing it's a bear it's a bear <laughs> Put this little area up there, my cot. It's got a, I got a fold out cot, really nice. I got a little area just to read books and stuff like that. I just lay back, come up here and relax. Look down, you can pretty much see out the door and the window to the pond there. We've got a little crane that's been coming up for about a month or so now. He lands in the water and you can watch him walk around the, the bank and catch minnows and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. You can actually hear it. It's kind of crazy, but you can hear the leaves falling off the trees. Almost sounds like an animal walking through the woods, usually. Ah, oh, it's so peaceful. I hope to build a house up here one of these days. You never know, maybe the grandparents will leave me this land. It's my grandparents' land. They don't, it's family's land. They own it, but it's basically mine. 
I guess in a sense. I've got keys to it and I'm the only one that comes up here and mows it and takes care of it. I've done pretty much everything the last four or five years. It's my building. I'll put it up here. I'd love to build a cabin. Just like my granddad said, we were talking the other day. We've about, when we first bought this land, I've got pictures. I'm making a scrapbook. This whole hill, there was no trees. It was completely, when they first dug this pond, there was nothing here. And now, we've, like my granddad said, we've got a pretty good sized little sawmill. We've about got enough pine and cedar to build a cabin. He said a little bit longer and these things will probably be big enough to build a good sized cabin. You never know. Build a nice little house up here. Up where the uh, where the uh, bushcraft shelter is in one of our videos. It's a big flat field up there. About a half an acre. Maybe a little smaller than that. But big enough for house. Maybe a little barn and some horses or goats or something. I'm 29. I've got a little bit of time to get things figured out and situated. Hopefully we can get up here and get the kiddos moved up. But as of now, we've got the cabin and I'm working on it. We come up as much as we can. I love to just come up here and sit by myself when it's real quiet. <laughs> blue tail lizard my kids they run all along this shore my especially my 10 year old daughter she loves catching tadpoles and frogs today I actually bought her a net with about a three foot piece of bamboo she can reach out and catch tadpoles and stuff with it minnows couple other things we did about the globe up which I mean don't really I guess it does have a little purpose I think it's like a wine cellar or something I used to put wine in it or something or I'm not sure but I kind of like the way it looked but I just use it for paper plates and stuff <laughs> and then my great grandfather who actually bought the land with my granddad many about 30 years ago he lived up here for a while, and he passed away many years ago, and I found some of his old hats in an old building we got up here a few weeks ago. Their last name's Hatcher, so I call this place Hatcher's Cove, and that had Tom Hatcher. I'm not sure if it's someone related or not, but I thought that was pretty cool, but just some old hats from around here. And then he's got an old candy truck up on top of the hill he bought like 25 years ago for the transmission and found that old uh, RC uh, sign there. So I hung that up in here as well. <laughs> Pretty cool. I'm going to cook here in a minute. This thing is like dead and sawed up. It fell over in a windstorm, but it's still growing. Still has green. That's pretty neat. <coughs> I'm still hoping to like, there's a river. There's a river, a small little river up here about, I'm going to turn this around here. A small little river about a mile from here. And um, it's got red-eye bass and uh, trout in it. And I've, we've got kayaks. A couple of my buddies got kayaks. We're thinking about uh Going down there and doing a little trout fishing, catching a few of them, keeping them coming up here and filleting them and stuff like that. I've, I've talked about that in some of my other videos and we still haven't gotten around to it. I guess there's not enough time in a day to get things done. I wish I would have brought my backpack with my hatchet and stuff on it. He's been wanting to build something. We're thinking about building a... If you go around this corner to the left, we're thinking about building a little dock. Or a deck. I guess a dock would be in the pond. We're thinking about doing that too right here. A small dock. Come back to here. And then out into the water. Now would probably be the time too while the water's down low. But build a dock you can step up on and sit and fish off of and stuff. But we're thinking about building a little deck up here. You have a couple, little ladder up 
around the corner. You step up on it and then make a little platform to set up a tent and be able to just sit and look out into the water from over there. Because when I come up and stay and I bring friends, I, we can't all pile up in the cabin, so I usually have my friends bring tents. But if they had their own little spot over there with a, a little deck they could set their tent and stuff up on, it'd be pretty neat. Kind of be isolated from everyone else. Clear sky today as well. I haven't heard no planes or anything. We're we're not real close, but we're pretty close to Alcoa Airport, which is our main airport here in town. Big planes, jets, Air Force, etc. But out here, close to like that's that way and this way, we've got a small little like private airstrip and people fly little small little planes around you'll hear them buzzing around sometimes which i like it i like watching them sounds cool there's a little story i read in um middle school we used to read it in class and it's about a kid that was on a plane flying to, to i guess maybe his father's house that ended up crashing and he was stranded out there by himself and survived by catching fish and stuff like that and when i come up here it's kind of what it reminds me of with these planes flying around Big old bass just hit something right there. But yeah, that book, I can't remember. I wish I remember the name of it. I'd buy it. I'd buy that book. I used to, I swear, I used to get excited when I go to school when we were reading it. I was ready to go back to school just to read, to hear, to talk about that book. The kid survived on his own. He had to like jump back in the water and swim down to the plane. It's cool. It's an awesome book. Hopefully me and my buddy Chad and maybe Alex here, we can come up here this uh, fall and have some fun and do some camping and stuff. It's starting to get chilly. It's about 80 right now, but at night time it's dropping down to about 60, which isn't bad. It's almost perfect weather. Long flannel, pair of boots, pair of blue jeans. Sleeping out by a nice fire. Echoes all the way through that cove. What do you think about the place, Alex? Nice getaway, huh? <clears throat> Peace and quiet. You gotta spend no money. Yeah. Because when they say you gotta spend money, have a good time. Not really. Nope. Not when you're a country boy. Exactly. Come up here, just hang out, and get away. <laughs> My grandparents bought a condo at the beach. I haven't been once. They've had it for three years. I come up here at least once a week. <laughs> Everyone in the family, I think, has been to the condo at the beach, except me. I come up here. And I'm not pretty much the only one that comes up here. Oh, you didn't go last year, did you? Mm -mm. Went he said I could go for free this year down in, um, in this fall break. And Chloe goes on fall break, but... Shoot, I'd rather be up here in the mountains. It's so cool. Walk around here, guys. Hopefully, I'm sure I'm boring most people, but. I'm gonna walk back here real quick to the spot I'm gonna put my deer stand and salt and stuff out real fast and then walk back around here. Turn this camera around. One thing I'm worried about is black bears. We've never seen any black bears here before, but that does not mean they cannot come to where we're at. We're right in the foothills. I always keep my gun on me just in case. Coyotes, especially with the kids running around. Another turtle shell. I may take that to the cabin. I've got another one. Little turtle shell. 
I read something the other day. I don't know if this is true. If anyone watches this and they know. I read that a turtle doesn't go further than like one mile or 1.5 miles maybe from where they're born. From their home. That's their home. I'm not sure if that's true or not. You know, as you see from where the cabin was, which last year during the winter we seen deer almost every time we came up here. And we've literally walked up on them. Our four wheeler, it's been up here for about a year and a half now. Broke down in the woods. Right here in this open area is where I'm talking about putting the deer stand. I got a 15 foot, 15 foot two seater. And this tree or this tree, 15 foot up, and this is just one big open area. And last year we sat at the, this in this cove and we could see the deer come down. We were up there. And then here's another valley. We watched them come down. We actually took a shot at them right here, but couldn't get couldn't get a clean shot on there's so much undergrowth but if i come up now do some trimming cut some of these smaller trees out some of these bushes put my deer stand in this tree we've got this big open area right here just we'd be right on top of them i'm not a big hunter but i'd definitely like to have a freezer full of meat that would be awesome my buddy matt owns about 115 acres his family does and they hunt every year They've got cattle as well. They harvest a cow or two every year for meat. Let's walk through here. So overgrown, so many holes. But I guess you can't take, you can't completely clear and keep 40 acres maintained that's kind of hard to do all the time just the random spots and areas we do a lot of squirrel hunting here too which i'll say we've got our first video we ever posted really up here was i believe a squirrel hunting video with the gopros and stuff which is really fun there's a lot out now too a lot of squirrel fishing spot. I usually fish from this little area right here. And I'm going to have to replace this big pallet here on the top. It's starting to rot. I should have sealed it. I figured it was pressure treated, but which it may be. Nah, I don't think it could. It couldn't have been. It's rotted way too fast. Whoa, that was something big right there. I went and caught about nine catfish out of the river up here. Creek. It's called Stock Creek, but it's a river. And we released them into the pond. We used to have a lot of catfish, but I think, like I said, our neighbors have fished them out. Anyways, alright guys, I guess that's enough time here. Today, kind of give you an idea of what we're doing. We're going to cook a little bit and eat and get back to the house hopefully we come up tomorrow i think we'll come up with the family and do a little bit of camping a few friends build a nice bonfire and let the kiddos roll some marshmallows and such it's gonna be about 62 degrees tomorrow night well we got something big back there or it's a squirrel sometimes those squirrels sound big when they hit them leaves did you hear it I'm pretty sure that's a squirrel jumping around back there on those old dried up leaves. That'd be awesome if a deer walked out there and 
took it a drink of water. I know last year we woke up, it was snow on the ground when we came up. I actually, I got a video of it on my YouTube. I looked out the side window, and right up on top of this hillside here, there's a deer, two of them, two fawns sitting there staring at us. Oh, another thing, uh, I'm pretty sure I've touched on it several times. Um, I think I'm going to buy one of the Harbor Freight solar panels. Um, any of you guys, if any of y'all have used them or anything or have any recommendations on something else, I'm just trying to save a little bit of money. I think I got a coupon. I could get that uh, 100 watt solar panel set up with a, a regulator and stuff for 149 bucks. I've got a coupon. It's like $40 off or something, $30 off. I was thinking about doing that and to charge these couple car batteries we have so we don't have to take them home no more. Anyways, all right, guys. I guess uh, I may post another video like this one, just a regular video off my cell phone before we come up here this fall and winter and really start, you know, camping and making more videos with our GoPros and stuff like that. But, uh, I just kind of want to touch base and to give you guys a little something to watch and kind of see the see the property here and what we do usually just on a regular day that we come up and hang out and mow and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching the channel, guys. We really appreciate it.